Dad, are you there? Can you hear me? this place? It's a school I attended before Judgment Day. Why are we here? You know why. Dad, it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. It's your birthday. Of course it matters. Besides, you're the one always saying that you're old enough to scavenge. Well, today, you actually are. But we're not even supposed to be here. The Resistance said Skynet was around here. I wouldn't take everything John Connor says as gospel. What do you have against him? I used to be a real asshole. We went to school together. This school, actually. You've met John Connor? I didn't know him personally, but everybody knew about him. I guess this was just one of the schools he got expelled from. I doubt he'd remember it. Okay, it looks safe. You can follow me. You're already on your way here, aren't you? I don't need you to babysit me, Dad. Just get yourself over here. I need your help. Oh, there you are. Now, let's start searching this place. What are we even looking for? A time capsule. What's a time capsule? Well, it's a, a box filled with letters. Pictures and other things that we buried when I was a student here. Why did you bury it? To preserve a piece of our lives, I guess. Since it's been in the ground this whole time, I'm hoping that it survived Judgment Day. If I'd known that the world would end just a couple of years later, I would have hidden something more useful in there. And again, no one could have predicted that. What would you have hidden? I don't know. A beer or something? Here lies history. Stand back. You know, back in my day, parents used to say that they wanted to give their children more than they had growing up. And since that won't be possible for you, I'd like you to have at least a taste of what I had. Okay, let's see what we've got. Uh, here's something? Really? A machine? Yeah. We've got enough of those around here, don't we? <laughs> okay, what else is in there? Some baseball cards, a cassette tape... Dad, I, I think we should go. I really don't need anything. Okay. How about this? Huh. I know it's not much. Happy birthday, Jacob. That's cool. Thanks, Dad. Ah, oh, look at this. That's a letter I wrote to myself. What does it say? Uh, future Frank. That's me. If you don't teach your son to mind his own business, I'm going to be very disappointed with ha, you. Ha ha, <laughs> very funny. I'll hang on to it for later. Fine, let's just go. It's not safe here. Wait, there's something else here. Well, this one says that it needs to be hand-delivered. Well, let's see what's so important. Dad, we don't have time for this. And it's not for you. I doubt anyone's waiting for it. How would you like it if a stranger read your letter? Are you serious? I'm just trying to follow your rules. You know what? It's your birthday. I won't open it unless we find the proper recipient. It'll be our little project. I promise. Come here. Stay low. As soon as it comes closer, make a run for it, all right? Now go. Pick up. Ah! Stay close. Ah! 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 Ah!
right behind you. Uh, through here. Are you all right? I'm fine. Just go. sound too good. Don't worry about me. Get out of here. Understand? But Dad... I said get out of here. Get down into the sewers. I'll meet you there soon. I'm safe. Do you hear me? If you can hear me, please let me know. Where are you? Jacob! You're, you're hurt. They're coming. We're gonna be alright. Come on. Back! Move back! Dad! Jacob! Run! <laughs> Sleeping on the job, I see. What? Can't say that it never happened to me. Oh, there they are. I knew I'd find them here. Are you okay? You were talking in your sleep. Just a bad dream. Baron's looking for you. We've got visitors that she wants you to meet. Visitors? A tech comm unit. At least what's left of it. Just a heads up. Something's going on. Everyone's walking around nervous. Thanks. They're waiting for you. Come back later and let me know what's happening. Huh? I appreciate you taking us in, Commander. I was sorry to hear about your team. Fucking ambush. I'll write it in the report. That can wait. New orders have come in for you. Excuse me? You're moving out right away. We just lost three men. Me and Pharaoh need some time to recuperate. I'm afraid that's not possible. Northridge Outpost has gone silent. You need to go there, find out what happened, and... What? Check if their radio's on? You know that Skynet's been jamming our signal. That may be true, but you'll still need to see to this personally. What the hell's going on, Baron? Look, it doesn't make sense to me either. I could have sent a team of my own. They'd already be there and we would know what went wrong. So? Why didn't you? Because the order's coming directly from John Connor. He insisted it be you. Okay. So what's the plan? Go to Northridge, find out what happened. Then escort the people there back to safety. Their withdrawal is long overdue. Word is that you captured a new Terminator model. That's right. An infiltration unit. Our top scientist is running an analysis on it as we speak. Does that have anything to do with this mission? The last we heard from Northridge was that they liberated a group of scavengers. So that's certainly a possibility. I see. Jacob Rivers here helped us capture the new model. He'll be joining you along with Evans, as per Connor's request. Okay, Rivers. So you can tell an infiltrator from one of us. What else can you do? So you're a marksman. Good. We need sharp eyes out there. All right. Check the supply crate and gather your equipment. Looks like we're moving out soon. Get ready. We got a long drive ahead of us. Any questions before we leave, Rivers? 
Why do you think John Connor selected us for this mission? He must have his reasons. He always does. To be perfectly honest, I learned a long time ago not to ask too many questions. Why? He's got this uncanny ability of putting the right people in the right places at the right time. That's a great skill to have when you're the commander of the entire Resistance. So when John Connor vouches for you, I already know you'll do your job well. What do you think about this mission? In normal circumstances, I would say that the mission is straightforward. But I would have appreciated some advance warning. But these are not normal circumstances. Nothing is normal when Connor's involved. You're gonna learn that very soon. What do you think about the team? Corporal Farrow's a good fighter. I've been working with her for years. You and Evans? I'll wait until I know you better. But I'll postpone the introductions till we're on the road. Rivers, a word with you. Seems like you've been appointed a special task. Alongside Kyle Reese, no less. Just so you know, regardless of what happens, there's always a place for you here. There's something wrong. Every once in a while, an assignment comes along that nothing can prepare you for. I fear that this might be such an assignment. I hope that Connor made a wise decision selecting you for this mission. Besides, I need all the bodies I can get here. Any other questions? Uh, what's the status on that second generation plasma rifle? Alvin is still working on it. So, there's a chance he'll have that gun ready before my return. I wouldn't hold your breath. Our professor doesn't have a stellar record when it comes to reprogramming Skynet technology. We're still looking for a spider scout he lost somewhere in the shelter. Yeah, what if he can't hack that plasma? I don't even want to think about the alternative at this point. What can you tell me about Kyle Reese? He's Connor's right-hand man. Can't blame him for wanting to keep Reese close. He's a great soldier, completely devoted to the cause. Did you serve together? Yes, we did. We used to serve under Perry. Back then, we were naive enough to think that T-600 rubbers were as bad as things could get. Good times. After that, I became the field commander, and he joined the North Division. Now we only catch each other between missions. He's too busy doing special tasks for Connor. Who's Evans? I've never seen him before. He joined us not too long ago. He's a survivor from another division, just like you. A sharpshooter. That's all I know, since he doesn't talk much, which I appreciate. Can we trust him? He could ask me the same question about you. If you're concerned, you can always take it up with Connor. He appointed him to this mission in the first place. Good luck, soldier. So, how did it go? I'm joining Kyle Reese. We're moving out right away. I thought that was him. So what's he like? He seems to have a lot of faith in John Connor. Don't you? I mean, he is the leader of the Resistance. Wait, is there something that I should know? What were you looking for back there? Just some toys. Erin wants to prep a field hospital for the children, so she asked me to grab whatever I can. She's hoping to bring some normalcy to the shelter. Ever since they brought that machine in, everyone's been on edge. Why do you ask? That toy soldier looked familiar. Do you want me to put it aside so that other kids don't play with it while you're out? I can do that. Just say the word. So, what's on your mind? Yeah, I wanted to ask you. You trust those guys, right? You stood face to face with that Terminator. So you'd recognize if something was wrong? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be putting any ideas in your head. It's the atmosphere around here lately. I think it's getting to me, too. They're waiting for me. We're approaching Northridge. All right. It's a good time to bring everyone up to speed. This is a rescue mission, as simple as it gets. We go in, secure the perimeter, and prepare the evacuation. I don't want anyone to draw Skynet's attention. We're not prepared for that. We keep our heads down, and evacuate those people to safety. 
What if there's no one to evacuate? Care to elaborate, Corporal? Outposts don't stay silent for that long. If no one's been reporting in, I'd expect to find the remains of a massacre, sir. I think introductions are in order. The eternal optimist sitting next to me is Corporal Farrow, an explosive specialist. Sergeant Rivers and I have already been introduced. What about you, Evans? What's your story? I've read your file. You're the sole survivor from the 113th, right? 113th? I've heard about it. How'd you manage to escape? Supposedly he took down a T-800 with his bare hands. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. Is it true? Did John Connor select us for this assignment? That's right. I'd like to meet him. Complete the mission and you just might. We're getting close. Get ready. Northridge is up ahead. Evans, give us the sit rep. No signs of any resistance soldiers at the gate. <sighs> Not good. Three T-600 approaching one o'clock. T-600? They're still around? Let's not get sloppy. We don't know what's behind that gate. This is a tech comm mission. I want us to move fast. I want us to be efficient. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's clear the area. Evans, you want to start us off? Affirmative. Everyone on me! Target. That's all of them. Then secure the perimeter. What do we do now? We need to report this. Find a radio station and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Comms. Well, this should be it. Sergeant, I found a radio station upstairs. I understand you're not happy with the situation, but for now you'll have to stay put. At least until I discuss your next move with Connor. Is that clear? Yes, Commander. Awaiting further instructions. Over and out. All right. Looks like we're turning in for the night. I understand that not everything went as planned today. There are still a lot of unanswered questions here. But for now, get some rest. Tomorrow will be when the real work starts. Yes, sir. Rivers, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you about your performance today. Sir. You're very efficient. Reliable. That's good. That'll keep the other members of the team motivated. Hasn't been that way in a while, so I appreciate your contribution even more. That's it, Rivers. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Sarge, any new orders from HQ? Not yet. For now, we're on our own. I have Pharaoh searching for any intel we may have missed yesterday. We'll see what comes up. What do we know so far, sir? I've been analyzing the intel that we have. I've got some theories, but nothing concrete. I'm curious to hear what you think happened here. Where do you think those people went? When people go missing, it's usually safe to assume that Skynet got to them. I probably did. Usually I would agree with you. But I've been over the area a couple of times. There's no sign of a gunfight anywhere. They wouldn't go down without a fight. So there's little reason to think that they were attacked. At least not in any conventional way. As you can see, there's a lot to unpack here and questions keep piling up. At this point, we just have to keep our eyes open. Speaking of which... Do you mind checking on Pharaoh? I'm waiting for a status report from her. Yes, sir. What's up? I'm trying to get inside the armory. But I suck at this. I'd love to do it the usual way and blow this door wide open, but Reese doesn't want us to make too much noise. Can you help me?
job, Rivers. Huh. Bummer. There's barely anything left. Looks like I lost the bet. You mentioned a bet. What'd you mean? Evans has a theory that people here packed and left. I didn't think much of it at first. But an empty armory certainly is a head-scratcher. I guess we've got to keep looking. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to do a sweep of the entire area, but there's a back room on the ground floor that I couldn't get into. It's blocked by a bunch of stuff that I couldn't move. Can you grab Evans and see if the two of you can clear it? Sure. I'll let him know. What do you think about this whole situation? I think it's obvious something fucked up happened here. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't see this coming. How so? Well, whenever Reese gets a direct order from Connor, something's off. I don't know what the deal is between them. They always keep their cards close. So, this happens a lot? More than I'd like it to, that's for sure. I just wish Reese included me since I'm always on these missions anyway. What's Reese like? You've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like... stone. Or steel. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly. As if nothing happened. Even if a lot of shit happened. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. I wish I could do that. He seems untouchable. I wonder how he got to be that way. And here I am, trying to hold it together, thinking about the people we lost. And not doing a good job at it. Well, you wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's what he's like. Yeah? Uh, Pharaoh mentioned there's a back room nearby that needs checking. Can you help me? She said it's a two-man job. Just let me know when. How did you know we wouldn't find anything in that armory? I've been trying to work on the car, but the garage here is missing some tools. The only things still lying around here are what the Protocol deems inessential equipment. The things that are supposed to be left behind during an evacuation. Those people were packed and ready to go. Do you think it's safe to stay here? That group of T-600s that we destroyed yesterday is a discontinued infiltration unit. They tend to malfunction. I doubt they're still connected to Skynet, so they couldn't give out our location. We're safe here. Having said that, I don't like the direction we're inching towards. North? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go and see what's in that room. So, is it true? What they said in the car? That you took down a Terminator with your bare hands? It's true. How'd you do that? Well, I didn't even know someone could do that. I was angry. Now, focus. We have a job to do. This is it. How do you want to do this? Oh. Check what's inside. I'm heading back.
Is this where you are? Sarge, I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here. So I need you to move undetected. This doesn't make any sense. Resistance soldiers came to evacuate them? I need to report this to Reese. Sergeant, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, it's more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated. By what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest. We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. That's two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell. Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Oh. Um, okay, forget it. This is it. The message was sent from somewhere around here. It wasn't accurate enough to give us the exact location. So to cover more ground, we'll be splitting into two groups. I'll be spotting for Rivers. Evans, you spot for Farrell. What exactly are we looking for, sir? Any signs of civilian activity. No one's been in the area for a long time, so report anything you see. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rules of engagement, sir. Fire at will. Let's move out. First, let's go. Where do we start? There used to be a non-military checkpoint at an old command center in this area. That's where I want you to go first. The antenna. I see it. Hacking it will grant us control over those surveillance turrets. They're equipped with a second-generation plasma rifle. Strong enough to bring down an HK? That's exactly right. Looks like this is where Skynet dumps their malfunctioning units. See if you can scavenge anything useful. Just keep your eyes open. Some of them might not be offline. Sergeant, there's no one here. Evans must have seen a Terminator. All right, Rivers. Time to pack up and go. Check if there's anything that we could use. <coughs> Wait! I hear something. It's coming from a coffin. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Sergeant, I found <sighs> some. Are you the one that sent us that message? Yes. Yes, I am. I've been trying to reach you ever since I escaped from the convoy. Rivers, we'll question him later. We need to get him out of there. Yes, sir. Move out. I'm heading your way. All right, let's move. They look just like you guys. Same uniforms, same weapons. We thought we were saved, but they led us to transporters that took us straight to a Terminator factory, with production lines churning out hundreds of them a day. So our missing people are still there? Some. Most of them are in a work camp set up not that far from the factory. Where's that? Further north. How far? I couldn't see. It was dark. It was hard to tell. You know what I'm asking. Was it behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. Yes, it was. Shit. I haven't seen anything like it before. They torch everything in their path. 
I snuck past it after I broke out of the convoy. The ground was so hot, it melted the soles on my shoes. Did I hear that right? We're crossing the Annihilation Line? That wasn't part of the plan. It was supposed to be a quick recon mission. I haven't decided on anything yet. We're severely unprepared. Are you sure that's where they are? I... What's I, up with him? I don't... I'm not sure. Sir, we have to consider falling back. I've noted your concerns, Corporal. But ultimately, I'll be the one making that decision. Now I need some time to think this through. For now, Farrell, set up the perimeter. Evans, you're first on guard duty. Let's clear our heads. Rivers, do you mind checking on the team? I need some time to come up with a plan. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I'm just tired. I must be seeing things. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm just seeing things. You don't sound too happy about what's going on. Why would I be? You've heard Reese. You know what it means. We're crossing the Annihilation Line soon. And what for? To finish a mission that makes absolutely no sense? Did you hear that guy? We're going after people that look like us. Isn't that exactly what that note said? The one that you found in Northridge? We're in over our heads. The team should always come first, not the mission. That's what the Resistance taught me. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. You do too. That HK in Bakersfield was giving us a lot of problems, and you took care of it because that's what a team does. We look out for one another. Meeting Connor is not worth all of this. Piece of shit! I think there's someone else you should talk to first. Is, uh, everything all right? <sighs> this whole situation has me so wound up, I'm shaking. Not good for handling explosives. You're just tired. You need a break. I'd love to. But since there's no one in a hundred miles of here that can help, I think I'll have to power through. It's too early to start worrying. Reese hasn't decided anything about crossing the Annihilation Line yet. You know what else he's keeping quiet about? How our previous assignment was stupid and bound to fail. Or how truly fucked up it is that we're back in the trenches just hours after our team got decimated. He hasn't mentioned Brooks, Johnson, or Yang. He hasn't mentioned them once. Like they never fucking existed. Pharaoh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be snapping at you like that. Let's talk. Yeah, let's. Those were the soldiers that died during that mission, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Except they weren't soldiers. Not to me. They were my family. They practically raised me. How so? I enlisted when I was 11. I was assigned to this team of four guys who I was absolutely intimidated by. I was trying to play the tough kid in front of them, you know? Constantly trying to impress them. Looking back, I must have been an endless source of entertainment for them. What kind of things would you do? I would make IEDs out of everything I could get my hands on. One time I turned Johnson's flashlight into a pipe bomb and forgot to tell him. He found out during a scouting mission. I'm told he wasn't too happy about it. With the four of them, I was happy. First time in my life I had someone looking after me. That's what I imagine having a family must be like. Now I'm starting to think that if I get killed, Reese won't even care. He can't look me in the eyes. Hasn't said my name this whole time. It's always Corporal, like he doesn't know me. What is your name? It's Charlotte. Anyway, thanks for letting me vent. Sometimes that's all it takes. Sir. I wanted to ask your opinion about what we've heard today. What do you really think happened in Northridge? 
You think that some rogue resistance squad cut a deal with Skynet? Decided to deliver an outpost full of civilians in exchange for some special treatment? Or maybe you have a theory of your own regarding what's happened. To me, this looks like the job of Terminators. This is what the infiltration units were made for. We're just now seeing what they're capable of. I was afraid you'd say that. I trust your judgment. You had the most experience with them. Is that all, sir? One last thing. We all know what the deal is with the T-600s. They're easy to spot and their rubbery mugs are not fooling anyone. But what about this new model? I'm asking you because you're one of the few people that got a look at them up close and lived. So do you think you would know if you were talking to a Terminator? I believe I would, sir. They may look human at first, but they still act like machines. That's what will always give them away. It's good to hear. I'll remember that. That's it for now. Sarge, actually, I've been meaning to tell you something. I think you should talk to Corporal Farrow. It seems to me that she hasn't fully recovered from your previous assignment. I understand. Unfortunately, that'll have to wait. There's still a lot of work ahead before we move out. I don't mean to step out of line, sir, but that may be part of the problem. I see your point, but I can't risk the safety of my team. Preparations have to come first. You can take a break now, soldier. You did a hell of a job today. What's going on? Ah! The fuck was that? I don't know, but we're not staying here to find out. Listen. What the hell are we doing here? Is all this really worth it, Jana? Sergeant, I wanted to make an official request for a demotion. There's no need for that, Farrell. The anti-tank mines that I set up didn't work. I feel responsible. It's not your fault. None of this should have happened because we shouldn't even be here in the first place. Easy, soldier. Sergeant, we're about to cross the Annihilation Line, and I'd like to know why. Because you were selected for this mission. That should be enough for you. All due respect, sir, it isn't. Is there something that we don't know yet? What's so special about those people? We've been kept in the dark for too long. Is this how you all feel? Kyle, there has to be more. The last message sent before Northridge went silent. Said that they rescued a group of civilians. These people were kept in cages for years. They were starved, looked like they were barely alive. And despite that, Skynet went looking for them? Why? They mentioned a name. A name Connor wanted to keep a secret. We didn't want anyone to be emotionally invested in the mission. But seeing how we're all looking over the edge now, one of the people rescued was the father of Sergeant Rivers. What? That can't be true, he's dead. He died years ago. Connor got a hold of some intel, confirming that's not true. He's alive, and he's in that camp. Does anyone have any more questions regarding the mission? No. No, sir. All right. We move out in a couple hours. Get some rest. That goes for you too, Rivers. I know this is a lot for you to take in, but I can't have anyone on my team distracted. Not now. Is that understood? You should have told me about my father earlier. I couldn't risk you getting too emotionally involved. People's lives depend on you staying focused, soldier. The success of our mission is everything. It's all that matters. So can you manage that? Yes, sir. So what's the plan? Anselmo mentioned two targets. We'll start with the Skynet factory. 
Of course, that means we'll have to cross the Annihilation Line first. Seems like a lot for a four-person team. It is. I want each of us to take a sector over the Annihilation Line. Once we're there, our responsibility will be to cause as much damage as possible. I want Skynet to notice. When it does, it will send reinforcements from the factory, leaving the place unprotected. That's where we'll regroup before we get our people out. I know that I'm asking you for a lot, but I don't see any alternative. We all know the risk, sir. And we're prepared to take it. I'm sure you all do, Rivers. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm the one that's asking you to cross the Annihilation Line. It's a tough call, and I'm glad I'm not the one making it. I wouldn't be surprised if you're not completely comfortable making it either. You deserve honesty, Rivers. But if I were to speak freely, I would have to say things that a soldier shouldn't hear from his commander. Get your gear. We're moving out soon. Are you sure Skynet will take the bait? You have to remember that Skynet is just a machine. A program that works according to protocols. And that works to our advantage. They're predictable. And that's going to be Skynet's downfall. Do you believe these people are still alive, Sergeant? The old man mentioned that Skynet took them to a work camp. If that's the case, we're lucky. What do you mean? Skynet won't start exterminating their prisoners until the camp's at full capacity, or when their objective has been completed. These people are valuable to Skynet. They'll keep your father alive, Rivers. This is about the team now. We'll get them out, Rivers. Even if it means crossing the Annihilation Line. That's quite some news, Rivers. Can't imagine what's going through your head. How are you feeling? Shocked, to say the least. And you? It's gonna get tough, and I don't want to put anyone in danger. I'm gonna stop you right there. I've been fighting my whole life and never really knew what I was fighting for. Now I finally have an answer that makes sense to me. Your father? Actual family. That's something worth fighting for. And we're going to get him back, Rivers. The things I do to talk to my dad. Even if it was just for a moment. Have you talked to Reese yet? I'm not gonna bother him yet. Just look at the craziness he has to deal with. I'll give him some space. We'll probably talk when we get back from the mission. What would you say? You're putting me on the spot, but... Well, I've never met my father. I guess that's not uncommon these days. So... I guess I would say... Hi. Nice to finally meet you. But more importantly, do you know what you're gonna say? I don't know yet. I hope that I can find the right words when I see him. If I can recognize him, that is. Don't worry about that. It'll come to you. We should be able to see it from that hill. I smell something burning. You're just imagining things. Or not. Holy shit. It stretches as far as the eye can see. And it'll continue to move forward. That's why we need to focus on our objective. We have to create as much havoc as we can. I think they've got that covered. We need Skynet to take the bait. Once they do, they will withdraw some of their forces from that factory. And that's when we'll strike. Everyone knows where their sector is? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then let's move out. Everyone in position? I want each of us to find a target. Something that will get Skynet's attention, and then destroy it. Yes, sir. Let's get to work. Everyone's here. Good. This is it. That's the factory where they keep the prisoners. Looks like Skynet took the bait. They shifted their security forces. What'd I tell you? Skynet's just a predictable piece of computer software. We can use that against them. 
The plan is simple. We infiltrate the target building and secure the prisoners. Once we find the people we're looking for, we leave. Rivers, I want us to pick apart what's left of their surveillance. Mark the remaining terminates for Evans to take out. Roger that. I'm in position. What the fuck? This is... Me. I fucking knew it! Pharaoh. To all that talk about Connor? He was on a fucking mission to terminate him! He got me out of that camp. I wanted to thank him. Bullshit. Wait. Did you sabotage my mines? The ones I set up at the hideout? You won't get away with this. This stops now. It's all in here. Evans was not imprisoned in the camp. He was in a research facility. He used his likeness to create a new type of infiltration unit. But... But how do I know that? From John Connor. I didn't want to believe it. But so far, everything Connor has said has come true. That's impossible. Shit. It says in here that the implementation of Cyberdyne Systems Model 102 is finished. What does that mean? That they no longer have any use for those people. We gotta move. They moved all the prisoners to that second location. We won't find any of them here. Then why are we moving forward? Because we need to burn this fucker to the ground. This changes nothing. So keep your head up. How can you be so calm after everything that's happened? I don't know. Maybe because if there's one mission that's worth pursuing, it's this one. It gives me purpose. I was heading into a dangerous place after that last assignment. Like nothing was keeping me here. And that maybe I was supposed to die back then. I started to feel like I was living on borrowed time. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But now I know what I'm doing, and that gives me hope. Sorry, Rivers. I've got some things to do. I need to apologize to Evans. He's all right. And so are you. Thanks for always checking in on me, Rivers. You're good people. How are you feeling about all this? About what? The botched mission or becoming Skynet's new face? We what do you mean? I'd think that an infiltration unit would want to blend in more. And be less... Less what? Uh, you know, intimidating. People find me intimidating. Laugh all you want, but life after getting back is gonna look very different. Getting clearance from Brass is gonna be an even bigger pain in the ass. Yeah, I imagine you're gonna get a lot of looks. Huh. What? What's wrong? I've seen it already. I saw that look the day they freed us from that facility. I was locked in a cell cramped with dozens of people standing shoulder to shoulder. And suddenly, we started hearing noise. Blasts from a plasma rifle coming from the distance. What did you think it was? I was sure that they started exterminating cages one by one. And it was just a matter of time before it was our turn. Then we heard someone yell. It turned out it was a tech comm unit. And among the soldiers, there he was. John Connor himself. He opened the cage and we all started cheering. And then something happened. In a room full of people jumping for joy, Connor noticed me. I don't understand. You have to imagine it. His eyes stayed on me just a second too long. And at that moment, I started fearing for my life again. It was as if in that split second, he was figuring out whether to shoot me or not. Not the entire cage, just me. All of a sudden, the relief of being saved was gone. He knew. 
Uh, about you. About the new model. He must have. That's actually why I wanted to meet him. I wanted to ask him if I was just imagining things. I guess I've got my answer. Never in my life did I feel so helpless. I was boiling with rage. So on my way out of there... You smashed a Terminator with your bare hands. Yeah. That's a lot to process. I need some time to think this through. Thanks for the talk, Rivers. I can't believe it. Outsmarted by an outdated piece of fucking junk. A computer program older than any one of us. We need a break, Sarge. Might as well. Seems that all this time spent on coming up with a plan is getting us nowhere. You wanna join me? Yes, sir. Dark years. That's what Connor calls it. What we're living through right now. At least I hope it means now. If the dark years are still to come. Does he always speak in code? <sighs> I guess he does. I don't understand half of the things he tells me. Even worse, he makes me memorize things that make no sense to me. Messages to people I've never even met. It feels like he's putting me through tests, you know? Preparing me to be part of something. Some grand scheme. So, why do you trust him? There used to be a simple answer to that question. Connor saved me. Taught me how to fight. For a moment, I was even naive enough to think that he prepared me for everything that's out there. He gave me hope. And that used to be enough. And now? Now? Things are different. I've lost most of my previous squad, and I've put the new one in danger by crossing the Annihilation Line. What the hell is all this for? I envy you, Rivers. You've at least got something to fight for. I'll do everything to get my father out of there. And I'll fight for the lives of the other prisoners with the same commitment. How did I know you'd say something like that, Rivers? That's not all, Sarge. That Terminator factory that we just destroyed, it, it couldn't be a coincidence. What do you mean? I think Connor knew what we would find there. He knew about Evans's role in this whole operation. He certainly knew about mine. He sent us here for a reason. That does sound like something Connor would do. I believe there's a place in this whole puzzle for every one of us. Funny. For someone who believes there's no such thing as fate, Connor likes to watch things happen exactly as he intended to. Unfortunately, those things sometimes come at a cost. But I don't think Connor would put you through more than he thinks you can handle. Damn it, Rivers. It shouldn't be your responsibility to talk your commander off the ledge. We all need a break sometimes, Sarge. You may be right. Thank you. I needed a fresh perspective. Now, if you don't mind, I got something to do before we leave. Prepare gear and ammo? No. I need that word with Pharaoh. It's been long overdue. Reese? We're ill-equipped. We're too few, and there's no rescue team to come for us. We're behind the damn annihilation line, and I can't protect you from what's out there. That alone is enough to free you of your duty. If you want to leave, just say the word. But if you decide to stay, I can promise that I will fight beside you through whatever happens. So just take your time. Kyle. We're staying. No matter what. That's as far as we can go. Grab your gear. We're heading out. Based on the intel we got at the factory, we're looking for Sector A of the camp. That's where your father is, Rivers. What's happening here? There's been a mutiny at the camp. We got together and did whatever we could to break out. 
And now Skynet's hunting us down. Which sector were you in? Sector B? That's where the mutiny happened. That's where we all came from. What about Sector A? Did those people escape too? No. Sector A is located somewhere else. At a football stadium. Football stadium. All right. We'll find it. Time to move. Hold on. There's more. The reason we broke out is because we heard that Skynet started executing everyone. And Sector A was the first one to go. What? I'm not sure if there's anyone left to save. We'll have to find that out for ourselves. Let's move. So this is what we're gonna do. Me and Pharaoh are staying here to make sure that these people are escorted to safety. I need you to do a recon of the area and report when you find the stadium. Running around like that is getting us nowhere. Understood? Yes, sir. Evans, turn that car around. We got more wounded here. I'll be there as soon as I lose that- My wife and children. They're still in the camp. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. We'll get them out. That's why we're here. You'll see your family soon. I'm all right, Rivers. We're gonna be all right. Uh, there it is. Reese, I've got the visual of the stadium. Roger that. Reunite with the group. We need to concentrate our efforts. Copy. I see you. No! Pharaoh! Ah! Evans! Reese is pinned down! I'm on my way! Go! 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 Shit! Ariel! Fuck! Hang in there! I'm coming! I know. So is Evans. What do we do now? We can't go back, Rivers. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe there's still a chance. We have to at least try. Sir, I know exactly where they are. Then lead the way. And Rivers. Find your father, Rivers! Frank, have you seen Frank Rivers? Is, is he a human? Dad! You're gonna be alright. We'll get you out of here. I'm looking for Frank Rivers. Is he here? I can't see him! He's gotta be here. I don't see him, Reese! Keep looking! Kyle Reese. That's me. I'm Sergeant Kyle Reese. I've got a message for you. I kept it. Dad? I kept it. I kept my promise. I found him. My son. Be proud. I am. I am. Today wasn't the final battle of this war. Instead, it was the battle that showed us the parts we needed to play. It reminded us that. Even if the world my father grew up in is long gone, we still have plenty to fight for in this one. We just need to find a purpose. Something that will keep us going. Even if it's as simple as keeping a promise made to a child. Pharaoh knew that. Evans did too. Today wasn't the final battle of this war. Rivers? But whenever that fight does come, 
I think now we're ready to meet it. Everything all right? Just, uh, trying to collect my thoughts, Sarge. Understandable. Once we're back in the shelter, I'll put a word in with Baron to ease up on you over the next couple of days. You need a break. We both do. Thank you. There's, um, something I wanted to ask you. Shoot. What was in that envelope? Let me show you. It's a message from John. This is what he wanted me to have. Why? I don't know. Maybe because sometimes I need to remind myself of what we're fighting for. 